Another green room edition. Keith, I told you before I move, we are talking to Keith Wall. And Keith, I believe you will be the last person that I interview in this house. I don't know if that means anything to you or not, but. Uh... <laughs> uh, it's an honor. Uh, it's an honor. It's not an art. Uh, awesome. You know, we, we, we bid the old dwelling farewell and, uh, you know, on to newer, greener pastures. I, I, you know, you're going to have a fenced in yard. It's, it's going to be great, man. Although Ooh, now what? you're gonna have to you're gonna have to buy a mower. I don't know if you have a mower or not. You have to mow now. <laughs> I, I gotta buy one. That's the that's the one thing I gotta buy is I uh, gotta get a lawnmower. I think that's about the only thing I really need to get. Um, I need some more carpet. Like I we were we were talking before we got rolling on here. We're talking with Keith Wallen, by the way. Keith's got some solo stuff out. Uh, Breaking Benjamin guitarist as well. Um, and uh, it's all hardwood. The dog does not like hardwood, so I just gotta buy a couple more uh, carpets for the for the house and get a lawnmower. And I think I'm good to go. There we go. There we go. Or you could just get, you know, some goats and stuff and just maybe they'll just chew the grass down, you know. <laughs> That's true. Airport. I mean, airports do that. They're like, instead of us hiring mowers, we're just going to bring a bunch of goats out here and we're just going to let them eat the grass. Yeah, it's genius. I'm glad we had I'm glad we talked for a while when you've, you know, I shared stuff with you about my life. I wasn't really expecting to share before we got rolling. But man, this is this has become a good, uh, good brainstorming session. We're not even going to talk about music. We're just going to brainstorm stuff from my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man. You know, although we didn't even delve into food, that's another whole that's another whole uh, chapter. Where, where do you like to stop on the road for food? I know you guys. You guys are you guys are in, so our listeners know that. I mean, they've won tickets from us, so you can still buy tickets for uh, Breaking Benjamin show tomorrow night. WQLZ.com, Peoria Civic Center tomorrow night. You guys are in Peoria already. Uh, you got to hear down from Canada. Like your off days, do where do you like to to go eat, or is there any place across the country where you're like, when we stop in this city, I gotta I gotta eat here. Yeah, sometimes there's there's some kind of specialty places like that. You know, we'll find, you know, the kind of the local, um, you know, favorite steakhouse kind of thing. Uh, but really, most of the time, it's like whatever's close. Uh, I'm a big wings fan, you know. Awesome. I, I, go to, I go to, you know, Buffalo Wild Wings, get the, the salt and vinegar dry rub wings. I'm, like, addicted to those things right okay. now. So, uh, but yeah, man. Are they going to put you in one of their commercials? I mean, they're all over the place, especially now with March Madness. Are they going to get you in a Buffalo Wild Wings commercial with the uh, with the uh, with the Buffalo? Hey, I'm down. I'm down as long as I don't get hip checked. Okay, there you go. <laughs> You're not getting Buffalo, boxed yeah. out and sent, not getting boxed out and sent through the glass. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> awesome. Are you doing a bracket? You know, this is the, one of the uh, first years where I didn't do a bracket. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, I think we were in the middle of just rehearsing and traveling, and it just it passed me by. So I'm like, ah, oh well, I'll, I'll I don't get it know. next year. I don't know how you forgot. You and I were talking too. Um, you know, obviously, uh, Headspace Holidays, the track we got on new on Q right now, our new music show. Uh, you are out with Breaking Benjamin for the next couple of weeks. You guys, Daughtry, and Catch Your Breath. Then you're doing a solo tour. I believe you're doing another solo tour. You have an album out on May 3rd called Infinity Now. So we're less than uh, about a, five weeks away from that. Uh, then you're going back out with Stained in the fall. Uh, yep. So I don't know how you didn't have time to fill out a bracket this year, dude. <laughs> you know, God, I'm slacking. You know, that's there's no excuse, honestly. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a busy summer. It's gonna be a busy year. Um, yeah, lots of stuff. But uh, you know, like I was uh, like I was telling you earlier before, you know, we kind of got cut off there. Uh, I, I'm so grateful to be you know, making music and getting out there and touring and performing and just, and, and just meeting everybody out there, uh, seeing familiar faces, meeting some new people. I mean, uh, it's just amazing, you know? So, you know, what better way to, to get out there than to just like, you know, have a solo Avenue and, yeah. and to just get some more touring and some more shows and make more music and, and, uh, all the guys in breaking band, they're, they're so supportive and, uh, you know, we love the tour too. So they get it. And, and all this, you know, all this, all the while we're, we're still working on, you know, new material too, while we're out here. And then when we're back home, so, um, never a dull moment, let's yeah. just say. <laughs> and, and dude, and like, you're super active on Instagram. If anybody follows you on Instagram, uh, if they don't, they should, because you've got a, you know, a lot of behind the scenes stuff, you know, you're, you're, you're pushing the solo stuff, obviously, like I said, a headspace holidays, a new track. So what's it kind of like being on tour, obviously with breaking Benjamin and then promoting the solo record that you have at the same time again, which is out here in about five weeks or so yeah that I mean really that's just it right you know it's, it's kind of the name of the game you you, you got to get out there and use all the social media platforms uh as much as you can you know i'm i'm kind of old school so i'm i'm not quite uh proficient with tiktok uh yeah. as much as the kids are these days <laughs> yeah. but I'm, I'm dipping my toe in i'm dipping yeah. my toes in and uh, 
you know, learning some of the trends and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to be doing too much dancing as they, yeah. as they nope. do, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but, um, no, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's been cool, man. It's been cool. You know, obviously, you know, we're, we've been busy doing, uh, you know, breaking Benjamin stuff, mm -hmm. but whenever there's a little time in between, you know, I, I got to promote my solo stuff and, uh, it makes some, makes some, make some videos to talk about it. And man, and by the way, I can't thank you enough for, for having me on here and, and, and letting me, you know, use your platform to talk about myself even more. So I appreciate it. Dude, it's good to have you back on. Um, like I said, you and I talked, I think about three years ago when you had, uh, when you had dream away and, and you and I talked, you, I mean, did yeah. you hung around for a while and you and I bullshitted for a long, you can swear on here, by the way, if you want, this is recorded. So you're good. Um, I, yeah. I say, I, I get to say words on here that I don't get to say on the air, which is, which is wonderful. Um, Dude, you and I talked like three years ago, dude, you hung around for a while and just, and like I said, just bullshit with me for a while. So dude, I appreciate it. It's a pleasure to have you back on. Um, you know, dream away is an awesome song. It had, you know, this dream feel to it. Like it was the perfect title for that song because it had such a dreamy, I can just kind of space out feel to it. Headspace holiday is, is nice. It's, I mean, it love it just as much. As I do that song because it's, it's still rocking from you, but what do you want? Like our listeners, your fans to know about this track. Like, obviously I've dove into it and, and I get my own meaning behind it um, as well. But like, what do you want people to know about this track? Cause it's one of, you know, three you've put out from the solo record. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, this one, this one was kind of like uh, my, my more heavier song. I think it's mm -hmm. kind of more riffy or ori oriented. Um, you know, my previous album, I, I, I kind of looked back on it and I was just like, you know, I just, I don't have a whole lot of, riffs you know i had like kind of some some you know moments here and there in the bridge where you know different stuff where there was some riffs happening but you know i i think on this album i was just like i made a conscious effort like look i want to i want to bring some heavier uh sounding stuff to the table and um this was one of those songs and um yeah i wrote it with uh, a buddy of mine uh cody from wage war oh nice uh, yeah who's who's just been killing it on this on the songwriting side of things he's 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 had his hand um in a lot of uh really just great songs this past year and i was fortunate enough to 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 get with him and write this one but um uh, yeah man it was um you know strings was the first song headspace was the next one and you know really it's just kind of about like look man we're there's so much bad news constantly just flooding in from every direction whether it's you know the news or social media and stuff it's it's easy to just kind of get in a, in a in a headspace where it's just like man just everything's bad you know and yeah so it's it's nice to kind of like you know what i, I need a break from this i gotta unplug maybe go outside maybe you know do some grilling just literally what it is i need a headspace holiday you know yeah. so um yeah man that's basically what it's about you know i love it like i said you said it's riffy but it's got this nice upbeatness to it as well which which is nice so like when i'm thinking of holiday i like to think oh okay i can kind of just just be nice and, and have good thoughts Hell yeah. 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 Take the shoes off, put some flip flops on, put some burgers on the grill. Let's party. <laughs> there we go. I, I can't wait. I need to get a grill at my new house too. That's another thing. That's another thing we need to write down. So um, need need a grill there as well, especially now that I've got a nice backyard, nice little walkway back there. Uh, how do you determine you kind of what you want to write for, um, you know, what riffs you maybe you want to bring for your solo stuff compared to Breaking Benjamin? Yeah. I mean, I think it's kind of, um, you know, a project by project basis. I, I look at everything kind of individually. Uh, you know, Breaking Benjamin kind of has a a sound that they've had over the years, and you know, we work work really hard to to kind of um, you know stick to that, and and mm -hmm. for the most part, but also modernize and and um, you know bring some new elements to it um, and evolve. But uh, you know, with my stuff, it's like you know, it's I don't know, it's different. I'm kind of free to kind of say what i want to say and talk about what i want to talk about it's just yeah. it's kind of my my own mind my own thoughts you know my my own you know what you know just surviving the human condition you know yeah uh, but uh and it and it usually just kind of comes out being something different that's that wouldn't really necessarily work for breaking benjamin um but basically all the best ideas i just save them all for myself there you go. Selfishly, there you, you know. <laughs> I don't, dude. I don't blame it all, man. Um, like I said, uh, between the Wolf strings, uh, Headspace Holiday, man, you put some really, really good stuff out here from Infinity. Now the album that's gonna be out on May third. Uh, where do you think you Thank made you. the most growth? Where do you think you made the most growth as a solo artist? Because I remember, I think when you and I talked last time, obviously Dream Away, very different feel. And I know the first stuff you ever put out as a solo, um, you know, artist, it was nowhere 
the sound was nowhere near what it is right now. So like you've made right. in, in 10 years, you've made such a massive progression in sound and everything else. Uh, so where do you think you've grown the most and maybe what do you enjoy the most now about being a solo artist with this, with this new record? Well, I mean, I just, I love getting out there and playing shows. I mean, uh, the, the goal is to just get out in front and, and, you know, in front of as many people as you can. Um, you know, so I, I think, uh, slowly but surely I'm, I'm growing my audience a little bit and uh and, and that's what you want that's what you want to see and uh I'm, I'm excited to do some more touring uh after this tour like you were talking about earlier you know it's mm -hmm. just that's the one thing i've kind of been missing i think with with my whole kind of solo endeavor is just getting out there and hitting the road and getting in front of people and and uh and, and playing these songs so uh i'm really excited about that and um yeah i mean you know, I, I think at this point in, in my solo career, the most important thing for me is to let as many people know uh, that I exist. You know, yeah. it's, it's it's funny. Like I, I did some shows uh, actually opening for Breaking Band. We did an acoustic tour in ja uh, January and uh, and I would I would pose this question every night. I was just like, you know, how's everybody doing? You know, mm -hmm. who all here has heard of me? You know, and there'd be, a, you know, there'd be a few people like, ah, I've heard of you. And I was like, who has never fucking heard of me ever in their life? And, and then we'd be like, wow, it'd be a lot of people. So I yeah. was like, okay, everybody that's never heard of me, I've been playing guitar for the band that you're coming, that you came to see tonight for the last 10 years. You know, and, and, and you know, and I, I get it. I, I get it. I don't expect everybody to know every band member of every band and all that stuff. Like, I totally get it. You know, there's the casual listener. Yeah. Uh, that you know that are a fan of a song or two you know or whatever but uh so that's the thing you know that was really eye-opening to me i was like i can't just assume that everybody that knows breaking benjamin knows who i am and know that i make music so i have to just really try to get out from under that shadow a little bit and just uh you know let people know like hey i exist i make music i hope you like it come to my concert come to the merch stand and meet me yeah let's do a high five let's you know whatever it's awesome it is. And like I said, you've got, I know you've got a solo run uh, pretty much not far, not long after Breaking Benjamin wraps up here at Daughtry and Catch Your Breath. Again, if you want tickets, wkillz.com, show on PRA tomorrow night, get your tickets because I don't know how many are actually left. Um, I just know I'm going and that's what I'm, I'm excited about. So if you want tickets, check them out, awesome. wkillz.com. You and I talked the last time off the air um, about somebody who thought they knew you. So it's kind of funny you mentioned like people, some people knowing who you are and some not. Um, <laughs> And you told me one yeah. of the most incredible stalker stories I've ever heard. I can say incredible because you're fine. Jason, your bandmate and Breaky Benjamin is fine. Everyone else is, is, is good on your guys' end. Mm -hmm. um, and I asked you if you're cool to share this story because it, it's wild what happened. I believe this was around 2020 or so. So, dude, the wild stalker story that you had uh, living down in Tennessee. Yeah, that was an amazing transition, uh, by the way, that you did. Thank that you. A... Thank you. I was like, <laughs> was... oh, man, listen to him talk about how people yeah. don't know who he is. This is this is the yeah. moment to ask this question. That was well done. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I I was uh, on my way to Nashville to uh, visit with our other guitar player, uh, Jason Rao, and uh, I stopped at a rest area, which, you know, apparently stopping at rest areas is not a good idea now. After the fact, I hear that, like, you stopped at a rest area? What are you doing? <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. I had to pee. What are you going to do? You know, so. Dude, so I told I you I grew up in Ohio. So, I got, dude, I got to stop at rest stops all the time. Unless I get off the yeah. turnpike and pay more money, which I'm not going to do. So, I'm with yeah. you on that one. You're, dude, you're good. You got, you're, you're good in my book yeah. on that. <laughs> right on. Yeah, so I stopped. And, you know, I was getting back in my truck. <clears throat> and, uh this lady or as, as I was walking out of the rest stop, this lady was there and she asked me, she's just like, Hey, I forget what name she thought I was Carl or something. I don't know what it was, but she's like, Hey, are you this person? I'm like, Nope, sorry. You, you've got me mixed up with someone else. And I just kept walking. I got in my truck. Didn't think anything of it. Um, got in my truck, drove to Nashville, drove to Jason's, got there was about to get out of my truck and I and I just looked at the side of me and this car pulls up right next to me and rolls her window down and it was that lady and she had followed me like I don't know like an hour and a half yeah. all the way to Jason's place and I was just like what the hell are you what is it you know it was freaky you know and I, I had to tell her again I'm like I'm not who you think I am and whatever you know it's like I'm not who you think I think you think yeah. I am or whatever <laughs> 
But well, uh, she didn't even was, she didn't even know that you were a member of Breaking Benjamin. I think that's what she told me as well. Like she didn't even know yeah. you were somebody in a band. No, no, no. Which was great. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was it was it was scary to say the least. And uh, you know, I, I I got into Jason's place and I was just like, "Yo, dude, this lady is out there." And she was still there. She she was there for a while, and then eventually. Uh, some of the neighbors were there and they were like, what do you, you know, they start trying to talk to her and mm-hmm. she was very just, I don't know, um, disturbed in some yeah. way, you know, whatever way that is, I don't know. But, but uh, yeah, some authorities came and then they took her to, uh, I think, a uh, like a psychiatric hold. I think they, they kind of can put somebody there for certain amount of days or whatever and yeah. uh, so but you know by the time they let her out or whatever i'm like i'm not sticking around to find out but i'm sure she's fine yeah but uh she hopefully she found who she was looking for and they're living a nice happily ever after life <laughs> in the bahamas somewhere so there you go i know you said this yeah. is a nice cautionary tale and you put a nice bow on that at the end of just like we hope it's a very happy story as well yeah yeah yeah, it's uh, it's freaky, man. It's a it's a it's a crazy world, you know. You never know, you never know what somebody's going through, you know. Um, you know, I mean, even the transition back to my song, you know, Headspace Holiday. Yeah. It's like, you know, there's a lot of mental pressure and a lot of uh, mental health uh, things that you know we should be aware about, uh, aware of. And um, I'm, I'm glad that mental health has kind of been brought more to the forefront mm-hmm. now, uh, and, and it's not such a uh you know a hidden thing i think people should be able to talk about things and uh and feel comfortable doing so um so but yeah just uh just like this young lady that mis- mistook me for someone else you know who knows what she's going through you know so you know i wasn't mean i wasn't rude no one no one was rude to her at all it's just like you know really concerned it's like okay yeah. this isn't right you know we got to get her to wherever she needs to be safely you know so yep but, so she's but to me herself. Exactly. But to me, I was freaked out a little bit, but you know, you got to look at the big picture and it's like, okay, she's yeah. unwell and we need to, you know, help, help her. I think you're allowed to feel a little freaked out when that happens. So I think you're okay. I don't, I, we live in a world where people judge like crazy. I don't think anybody can judge you for that one. I'll, I'll go ahead and say that right now. I, th- I think you'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. In that sense, very warranted to be a, a little cautious. Uh, Keith, I can't remember if I had you, uh, do this for me last time when I was in Wausau. It used to be a blog post. I can't remember if I asked you this or if I had just unceremoniously been blown out at this point. Um, okay. Favorite complete album, Steve, of all time. Favorite No Skip Records. So anytime I have somebody come on new for the first time or if I didn't ask you this last time, somebody came on. Um, I Obviously, you're making full-length records still. Breaking Benjamin is obviously an album band. Um, your favorite No Skip albums of all time. I still have a CD player in my car. I love listening to full-length records. Gosh, um, let's see here. I, first one that comes to the top of my head, Metallica Black Album. Okay. Um, let's see. Jeff Buckley, Grace. Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe Genesis, Invisible Touch. Okay. Throw some, 80s, throw some 80s in there. I mean, let's do Metallica again, Master of Puppets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot. Yeah, yeah, there's some there's some good ones in there. You too, Joshua Tree. That's a good one. No, I love uh, it's dude. It's um, I, puppets. I think is the most uh, popular one so far. I believe. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, we, lots we, of people, for good reason. Yeah, no, it's it's great. Lots of people hate on the Black Album because they they think it's too you know commercial or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm like, whatever. Blow it out your ass. It's a, it's amazing. <laughs> It's an yeah. amazing record. It sounds great. James Hatfield never sang better. You know, I mean, it's just so good. So, you know, it's perfect. I love it. Yeah. It's a great record. I mean, the thrash metal stuff is awesome. I get it. I was like yep. five years old when that album came out. So I couldn't, you know, tell you a whole lot about it. But like, the, it's funny, like the older I got, like that's the album that I grew up with, you know, when I got older yeah. and got into Metallica. And then when people are like, oh, did you know that they have four albums in the 80s before that? I was like, oh, no, I'm like, 13 years old i'm like i don't know i'm trying to download yeah. stuff off limewire and you know you I don't think wikipedia existed at the time or whatever else um yeah. i bought the record since we're gonna put that out on the record i have bought the album since so i know lars is not a big fan of the uh the streaming and the and the pirating I <laughs> right, eventually went back right. and bought the albums um but it's like dude like you can love the black album 
and still be a fan of the, thr- of the thrash stuff. Like, I get it. You know, if you're a thrash oh, guy, yeah. gal, you're probably not a big fan. You still love it all. So I'm glad you mentioned the Black Album because you're the first person to do so in this question. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That. I mean, I think I'm a little partial, too, because that was like the first one that I was introduced to. My brother got me that when I was, you know, uh, for Christmas. And then, you know, from there, it's kind of similar to what you were, you were saying. Is like I kind of, you know, retroactively mm-hmm. listened to their there are other ones, you know, and, and uh, was able to kind of experience that. It's it's wild how they progressed and how his voice changed over the years. It was pretty pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, and again, you can enjoy it as much as the of, of as the other ones. Uh, Keith, uh, just I think I asked you one Breaking Benjamin question last time. I just got one Breaking Benjamin for question for you this time. So you're on yeah. tour. Uh, anything you can share? I know you said you guys are writing and, and whatnot. Um, anything you're able to uh, share when it comes to the Breaking Benjamin camp and possibly what to expect this year? Well, um, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're playing a few songs that we haven't played, um, if not, uh, not in a long time, if not okay. ever, I don't know, maybe they, maybe they played them in 2010, but that was before my, my time in the band. So for us, we are like, we've never played these ever. So it's, uh, it's been pretty fun. Um, yeah, other than that, man, just, uh, you know, uh, we're going to try to bring it every night, best show we can, you know, we've got some cool video elements uh a, a awesome video wall and some some cool stuff going and um some cool vip packages and stuff uh man just you know we love getting out there and playing man it's it's that's that's really it man so uh just looking forward to seeing everybody out there awesome well, like i said i'm seeing you guys tomorrow night i'm excited if you want tickets you can still get them wqlz.com you guys daughtry catch your breath the opening band obviously keith if people want you know if they want to support your solo stuff uh your socials, your website, all that good stuff. You want to buy merch? Where can where can they do that for for uh, for the solo record again? Infinity now is out May third. So uh, keithwallen.com, that's a good one. Riserecords.com. Uh, you can follow me in on Instagram. Uh, Instagram uh, at KJ Wallen. Uh, same handle for uh, X as well. I'm on YouTube. I'm on TikTok at KJ Wallen. Uh, all the things and, uh, and and thank you so much. Uh, for everybody listening and for everybody that uh, takes the time to check out my music and, and smash the subscribe button or whatever, man, I, I really hit that like it. button. Hit Oh, yeah. Smash the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Smash the subscribe <laughs> button. I'm sorry. I screwed that up for you. No, no. I Honestly, I say that just, you know, tongue in cheek because it's kind of like, go ahead, smash that subscribe yeah. button. You know, it's just like. <laughs> try not to sound like a used car salesman but uh but uh yeah point. but but i appreciate everybody checking out my tunes and and dude i can't thank you enough for having me uh and and giving me this awesome platform it's just such an amazing radio station and, and springfield has been such a supporter of breaking benchman and my music for years and years and uh man looking forward to hanging tomorrow night man we'll do man happy to continue it keith appreciate the time buddy thank you so much